Hi, Jen and Casey here, and welcome to another Fusion Online video. Today we're looking at spring play. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we, Casey and I, love to explore because it changes the exercise, Absolutely. right? Depending on what spring you're using, and you can get really, really creative. Because depending on what spring you're using, it totally changes the action in the body and what you're able to do. So this is something that we really explore in our fusion intensive classes. And you'll be seeing a lot of this if you're in the apprentice program online about the creative ways that we um, work with the springs and the exercises. Absolutely. So today we're gonna look at knee stretch. And classically, knee stretch is done on three, sometimes four springs. So really heavy and you feel it a good bit in your legs. And sometimes people miss the connection of the core in this exercise. So let's just do a few on, I have three springs. I have two red and a blue. So we're just gonna look at the classical knee stretch. So she's coming back on her nice long back, stabilizing through the arms and torso. So the idea of this exercise is that we're moving freely through the legs and the pelvis and spine stay stable. And through our brain and our breath, we're cueing all that musculature around the spine and the pelvis, trying to create the longest lumbar spine possible. Good, and release. Very nice. How'd that feel, Case? Good. Um, hard, definitely more kind of leg glute centric. Right. Definitely. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's lighten the spring quite a bit <laughs> to one blue, and let's look at what happens. So we're gonna do that same exercise on the blue spring. Now, it's gonna be uh, much more challenging in a lot of ways, but the leg bone will feel freer to move in the socket, but she's gonna have to do a lot more work around the torso and pelvis to stabilize. Yeah, and you can see that little shake, right? And people are gonna have a tendency to compress here on the lighter spring, so you have to remind them to be really long. Beautiful, and go ahead and rest. Now, this light spring lends itself to a lot of creativity. So we can go into a little sequence, like a cat-cow. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna come back into that same position. And I'm gonna want Casey to stay in this long back as she presses the legs out. And then as the legs come back in, I want her to curl into her cat back position. As the legs press out, I want her to go back into that long back with that long lumbar spine. As she comes in, finding that cat back position. This looks beautiful. And unwinding into that long back, finding her home position, finding her deep abdominals, and drawing it in, find the opposition in the pose. And last one, and this is hard work. Look how beautiful her lumbar spine looks. Good, and bring it all the way back in. Lovely. And you can also do some different variations with this. Go ahead and rest, Case. Okay. Woo, she's hot. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that builds heat, right? It builds heat immediately. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. So there's lots of other different, really creative um, exercises and cueing you can do with this. We just scratched the surface, but I hope you join us again. Thanks. Thank Bye. You.